We're following new developments in Puerto Rico. While multiple FEMA shipping containers packed with supplies for Hurricane Maria survivors are missing. Four have been recovered across the island, and we've just learned that two other containers were found last night, but six are still missing. They're believed to be locked and full of unused supplies that were meant to help tens of thousands of people. Well, CBS News correspondent David Begno has been following the situation in Puerto Rico since Maria devastated the island, and he's with me now from Dallas via Skype. Okay, so this is confounding. David, you spoke to a FEMA spokesperson. What can you tell us? So here's the deal. Let's start with what happened last night. Two FEMA trailers were found on random private property. Uh, apparently, it was the mayor of Utuado who initially alerted authorities a couple of days ago and said, hey, I think one of your shipping containers is here. Now, why is this all of a sudden happening? Two and a half weeks ago, there had been a report on the island by a radio station that some, that some trailers had been found on property owned by the government. The National Guard came forward and said, oops, we should have distributed supplies in the trailers. We will. Ever since then, we picked up on it, we reported it, and it's been in the news. So what's happened is all of a sudden these FEMA trailers are now popping up around the island. So you have three that popped up in Utuado. The mayor called about one of them. Here's the deal, Anne-Marie. In one of the shipping containers that they were able to open in Utuado, they were filled with cots. Now here's the catch. When FEMA delivered the trailer to the area that it was supposed to be, it didn't have cots in them. So somebody took the supplies out and then filled the trailer with cots. Here's the bottom line. Let me walk you through the process of how it worked. FEMA would have a trailer filled up with supplies. Then they would deliver it to a municipality, right? And the municipality's responsibility would be to distribute the supplies to the people there who needed it. They'd call FEMA back and say, hey, your trailer's ready. Come pick it up. Twelve of them went unaccounted for just missing. Now, FEMA says, here's the context. We distributed more than 10,000 trailers. To lose only 12 of them is pretty impressive. Maybe so. But consider this. In every one of those FEMA trailers was essential supplies, cots, water, food, battery, baby products that, that could have been used for tens of thousands of people. Let me walk you through some of what we know. There were three other trailers that were found in a municipality known as Toa Alta. It was found on private property, and the man there will not give FEMA permission to come on his property. So FEMA, through their own federal protective police force that they have, security force, is going to obtain a warrant to come back on that man's property and to get their shipping containers. Every container had a transponder, a tracking device. What FEMA believes is that the batteries either died or somebody removed the tracking device, and that's why they lost them. But the bottom line is most of the containers they've not been able to open, and those they have opened didn't really contain the supplies that were originally in there when FEMA delivered them. Right before I toss it back to you, and I know you're going to have some questions, but we've confirmed that at least uh, – so of the three that were found in Toa Alta, right, one had originally been delivered to Canovanas. Another one had originally been delivered to Umacao. Another one was delivered to the Puerto Rico Emergency Management Agency, and another one was delivered to the Puerto Rico National Guard. So how did they get from all those places to Utuado and Toa Alta? It's not easy to move those, Anne-Marie. No, it is not. We are talking about massive containers. I think about when right. I order something on Amazon, how many times I have to sign off on it so people know Bingo. I have received it. I presume there's a similar process here. There is. And so, there is. and I would expect that the mayors of some of these towns, the governor perhaps, is expecting these deliveries. So then, you know, what are we hearing from the governor? What are we hearing from the mayors who, who might have said, oh, you know, I thought we were going to get a trailer uh, last week? All right. Now you're getting the real good question. So I've been trying to get somebody from the governor's office to give me a straight answer on exactly how they're involved or what they have to say about all this. And I have not been able to get a, a comment from the governor's office in the last five days. I've called the governor's press person. I've called the chief of staff's press person. I've called the secretary of public safety's press person. And I am getting the runaround with a capital R. OK, that's the first thing you should know. Uh, secondly, it's it has been difficult to get in touch with some of these local mayors. Um, and so we're trying to to pin down exactly. But at the, at the end of the day, it was their responsibility, the local mayor's responsibility to receive the container, distribute the goods, then call FEMA and say, hey, it's ready. So were the goods stolen? Were they distributed? And the trailer was just stolen. Look, Anne-Marie, 
everyone is thinking, including FEMA, that these supplies were likely misused, that they weren't distributed. And you're talking about enough supplies. You're talking about tons and tons of supplies that could have been used to help upwards of, I don't know, 50,000 people, maybe more than that. And remember, Anne-Marie, after the hurricane, we kept hearing water's not getting to where it needs to go. Food's not getting to where it needs to go, all this kind of stuff. Well, FEMA told me today, I said, listen, what's your response? And the guy who I was on the phone with said, David, in a way, this is a little bit of us pushing back and saying, see, we delivered 12 containers to various places. What happened to them? Now, again, FEMA delivered more than 10,000. 12 out of 10,000 is, when you put it in context, not terribly shocking, but it's important. And why are they just now turning up almost a year after the hurricane? That's a great question. And I'm thinking, OK, so there are all these different groups that could possibly be involved here. There's local government. Right. There's FEMA, right. I presume. And, and, you know, when you started to talk about this, the first thing I thought of is this stuff stolen. Somebody's reselling it. I don't know yep. if, you know, some of these items have logos or if there's a way to, to know for sure that it came from FEMA and it shouldn't be sold. But I thought. If you follow the money, this really sounds fishy. So who's investigating yeah. here? OK, so you've got the federal security agency that is within FEMA that is now going out to get the warrant, right? You've got, for example, in Toa Alta, where the three containers were found on private property, you've got the municipal police that are investigating. Here's my next call when I get off with you to the FBI to find out if they're investigating, because this is important to know. Because they were FEMA containers, the property in the container is the property of the federal government. Stealing that would be essentially, arguably, a federal crime, falling under the jurisdiction of the FBI. These were not donations from people. That's important. It's not like Anne Marie Green decided to send $500 worth of supplies that wound up in a container that went missing. These are items that FEMA paid, taxpayer money, to fill the container that now went missing. So you're talking about federal violations involving federal property that is now being investigated by a federal agency. It is a heck of a story, David. I know you're going to make all the phone calls necessary. I'm really curious about, you know, where these containers are. So we're, hopefully we'll be following up with you. Uh, David Begno, thank you so much. Thank you.